So we're down here in the wet lab, which is one of the aquatics labs um, in the basement of the Dana building. And uh, this aquatics lab is used for a variety of things, uh, mainly fish experiments. Right now I'm doing some of my uh, dissertation work, uh, which involves conservation of the spotted gar here in Michigan, which are at the edge of their range. So conservation of those populations is important from a genetics perspective um, and also from a native fish's perspective. So gars have actually been around for about 110 million years, so they're older than some dinosaurs. What I was looking at for my research is the conservation of these peripheral populations, which are species at the edge, or populations at the edge of their range, compared to core populations, which are populations of species near the center of their range. So we've got spotted gars from both Louisiana, which is the core population, and spotted gars from Michigan, which is the peripheral population. So looking at differences in growth rate, so this is a spotted gar from Louisiana. So these are several individuals from Michigan. Same age as those Louisiana fish. These fish, under the same conditions, grew significantly larger, indicating that the genetics of these fish are actually quite different. When people ask me, you know, what do I do? Um, I say I study aquatic ecology. I specifically study freshwater ecology, more specifically fish ecology. And fish are great as environmental indicators of the health of the overall system. So, you know, it's a very small piece to the overall puzzle. Mm -hmm.